People in past were using woods for lighting their homes for many centuries, until 1879, when the famous American inventor Thomas Edison has succeeded to build the first commercial light bulb in the world. Why we are saying the first commercial light bulb? Because there were many attempts before Thomas Edison. The electric light, one of the every everyday conveniences that most affects our lives, was not invented in the traditional sense in 1879 by Thomas Alva Edison, although he could be said to have created the first commercially practical incandescent light. He was neither the first nor the only person trying to invent an incandescent light bulb. In fact, some historians claim there were over 20 inventors, inventors of incandescent lamps prior to Edison's version. However, Edison is often credited with the invention because his version was able to outstrip the earlier versions because of a combination of three factors. One, an effective incandescent material. Two, a higher vacuum than others were able to achieve. And three, a high resistance that made power distribution from centralized source economically viable. The carbon arc light, which consists of an arc between carbon electrodes in the air, invented by British chemist Humphrey Davy in the first decade of the 18th, was the first practical electrical light. It was widely used starting in the 1870s for street and large building lighting until it was superseded by the incandescent light in the early of 20th century. It continued in use in more specialized application where a high intensity point light source was needed, such as searchlights and movie projectors until after World War II. The carbon arc lamp is now obsolete for most of these purposes, but it is still used as a source of high-intensity ultraviolet light. This is the world's operating carbon arc lamp, 60,000 watts at full power. It was designed and fabricated in 25 for Mike and Doc Stern. The lamp operated by running an electrical current through two pieces of carbon. This creates a pocket of plasma that sustains the connections and burns always the carbon at 6,000 Fahrenheit or 3315 Celsius degree. There are many types of lighting devices. The most commonly used lamps are incandescent, fluorescent, and a variety of high intensity discharge lights. Halogen lamps are the type of incandescent lighting that is slightly more efficient than incandescent lamps, but typically more expensive and purchase, to purchase. Fluorescent lamps may be linear or curved tubes or small diameter compact pulp CFLS. High intensity discharge HID lamps include low pressure sodium LPS, high pressure sodium HPS, mercury vapor, and metal halide. As light emitting diode LED technologies evolve, LEDs are used more frequently in a variety of applications. With the exception of incandescent and halogen lamp, most other lighting types require additional. Additional components such as a polastis to regulate electrical voltage and current and frequency. Light emitting diode LEDs are promising lighting sources for general lighting applications with the promise of being more than 10 times as efficient as incandescent lighting. There are two types called a warm LED. Narrow band amber NBA LED street lights are a brand new technology rather than emitting all the colors of rainbow and a lot of blue light they emit mostly in the yellow 
they still have a good color rendition, meaning they don't produce a yellow glow like LPS lamps do. Because of this technology is so new, these bulbs are not widely available and are extremely expensive. They are very and very efficient. White light is a combination of all wavelengths in range of the visible spectrum. If we put a prism in right angle, we will see these combinations of color. Incandescent lamps inherently produce white light. LEDs don't. LED bulbs emit light in a very narrow range of the spectrum, producing a nearby, nearly monochromatic light. The color depending on the material used to create the LED. White light LEDs are created in two different ways, phosphor conversion or RGB, which is referred to red, green, blue, the main colors. In phosphor conversion, a blue LED is coated with a yellow phosphor or the phosphor coating is bonded into the substrate that is at a distance from the LED, resulting in light that appears white to the ear. This method is lower in than RGB approach. Phosphor converted chips are manufactured in large quantities in forms that are integrated into light structure. In the RGB method, white light is produced by mixing the light from multiple red, green, blue LEDs. Sometimes amber is added to enhance the quality of the light. This result is in great flexibility in the possible shades of white light produced, but it is technically more de demanding to manufacture and thus more expensive at this juncture. RGB systems are generally found in custom designed architectural home, retail, theater, and medical lighting. Remote controls and smartphone applications are available to adjust the color scheme to fit the environment. Before the 1990s, white light through diode phosphor conversion or RGB method was not possible. The invention of efficient blue light emitting diodes in the early of 1919s by Asamu Akasaki, Hiroshi Amano, and Shuji Nakamura, who won the Nobel Prize of Physics in 2014 and enabled the creation of the bright and energy saving white light sources. Energy efficiency of light sources is typically measured in luminous per watt. LM per W, meaning the amount of light produced for each watt of electricity consumed. This is known as luminous efficacy. Table shows efficacy of some light lamps. Department of Energy in USA, DOE's long-term research and development goal calls for white light LEDs producing 160 LM per watt in cost-effective market-ready systems by 2025. In the meantime, how does the luminous efficacy of today's white LEDs compare to traditional light source? Currently, the most efficacious white LEDs can perform similarly to the fluorescent lamps. However, there are several important cavities as explained below. Color quality. The most efficacious LEDs have very high correlated color temperature, CCTs, often above 5000 Kelvin, producing a cold, bullish light. However, warm light LEDs to 600 Kelvin to 3500 Kelvin have improved significantly, now approaching the efficacy of CFLS. In addition to warmer appearance, LED color rendering is also improving. Leading warm white LEDs are now available with color rendering index CRI of 80, equivalent to the CFLS. Driver losses. 
fluorescent and high intensity discharge HID light sources cannot function without a ballast which provides a starting voltage and limits electric electrical current to the lamp. Similarly, LEDs require a power supply commonly called a driver. The power supply converts its line AC power to the appropriate DC voltage typically between 2 and 4 volts DC for high brightness LEDs and current general, generally 200 and 1000 milliamperes and may also include supplementary electronics for dimming and or color correction co control. Currently available LED drivers are in typically about 85% efficient, so LED efficacy should be discounted by 15% to account for the driver. For a rough comparison, the range of luminous efficacy for traditional and LED sources, including polast and driver losses are applicable, are shown below. Thermal effects. The luminous flux figures cited by LED manufacturers are based on the LED junction temperature Tg of 25 Celsius degree. LEDs are tested during manufacturing under conditions that differ, differ from actual operation in a fixture or a system. In general, luminous flux is measured under instantaneous operation perhaps at 20 or 25 millisecond pulse in open air. TJ will always be higher when operated under constant current in a fixture or a system. LEDs in a well-designed luminaire with adequate heat sinking will produce 10 to 15 percent less light than indicated by the typical luminous flux rating. Here is a more detailed table of characteristics of light lamps such as lifespan, luminous efficacy, CCT, except LEDs clamps, which is not listed. This another comparison between three famous lamps related to cost and environmental impact, and as we see that LEDs lamps have a long lifespan up to 50,000 hours without effect negatively on the environment. Nobody doubts that using LEDs lamp is more efficient and economical for end users and country compared with other types of household slice lamps such as incandescent and CFL lamps. But there are so many factors to take into consideration such as the type of the globe, the environment, lifespan, quality and the price of lamp. The table shows the average power and price of three famous light lamps. Some countries have started to forbid manufacturing in candidate lab due to the waste of energy. More than 95% of energy is wasted by form of infrared light, and there are an alternative choices by selecting either using CFLs, although it contains mercury, or LEDs lamps for household purposes to give an end user the right to purchase cheap or expensive products depend on the economical status. Not all people rich to purchase expensive LEDs lamps. This energy policy is aimed to save our energy resources of the world and protect our environment by decreasing the fuel consumption to generate power plant facilities. Climate change, the global warming has a bad effect on our world from increasing the main temperature of Earth, of Earth and rise the sea level to drought rainfall, hurricanes by unusual rate in different zones in the world. If we don't move quickly and effectively, then our great humankind will end shortly because we have not found a suitable place to live. Now, let us see our experiment and strange natural phenomenon that happened with me in home.